Hey everyone, Mano back here with another Destiny 2 strategy guide. Stasis is the new energy type and also the super abilities in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. However, there are a couple of things that you need to do to completely unlock this subclass. The first part of unlocking this comes in the form of the Aspect of Control quest line. In this quest, you are going to need to go around Europa and destroy five entropic shards that are hidden on the moon. There are nine of them hidden without the world, and they also count for a triumph called Studying Darkness. In this video, we're going to show you how to find each and every single one of those shards so you can pick them up, get your stasis abilities unlocked, as well as get the Studying Darkness triumph completed. In a similar fashion to the Corrupted Eggs and Wish Ender of Forsaken, the Salvation's Grip Grenade Launcher is the only weapon that can actually damage and then collect these shards. So before you actually start going on your path to go see where all of these are, make sure you get that exotic quest line completed first. The first shard is going to be located over in the Bray Exoscience area, and we're going to start next to Sharon's Crossing next to the Verx vendor location. To make things simple, I'm going to let the video play out so you can see where you need to go, and I'll keep talking to a minimum. The next shard location is in the Asterian Abyss, but honestly, because of the amount of time it takes to get there on your Sparrow, just launch into the Glassway Strike. When you load in, you're going to be on a Vex Constructed platform. Turn around and you will find another Vex Construct. You can see there on screen, there's the entrance to the next part of the strike. But instead, turn around and you'll find yourself on top of this. Go by this pillar here, turn the corner, and you will find the second shard right there. The next shard is going to be in the Lost Sector of the Asterian Abyss, and that Lost Sector is the Concealed Void. We're going to head over on our Sparrow to the right-hand side of Sharon's Crossing and follow the path that you see here on screen. You'll go through a couple of different rooms, and what you'll need to do is look up. There will be a square-type device in the middle of the room. Look up above that, and there will be the final shard. Just go ahead and follow the path that you see here on screen. You will have to kill a couple of enemies as well.
because of the amount of time it takes to Sparrow from Sharon's Crossing, we're going to instead do the rest of the video from here. There is a tunnel right here at the end of Cadmus's Ridge, and we're going to go ahead and follow that to the rest of the shards. The next shard is going to be on the far right side of the Eventide Ruins. There will be a number of buildings that you're going to drive by, and then you're going to come down to a lower level in the Eventide Ruins. You're going to see some broken out debris next to some snow, and that is where you will find the next shard. Follow the path that you see here on screen. Again, starting in the tunnel location here at Cadmus Ridge, we're going to go to the Eventide Ruins once more and find ourselves in the Lost Sector that is named Bunker E15. You're going to have to look for this a little bit more carefully because this one is a pretty well-hidden Lost Sector. The best way I can say to describe it is to go forward as you're making your way through the tunnel, go past this ridge here, you're going to find these broken out buildings off here to the right jump over here to this location here it's going to be inside of this building come through this round door and come on up you're going to see a basic broken out set of debris that is going to be covering it right here you're going to jump on through here to this side this is the law sector that has the frames that actually will assist you in the battle to access the large room where you'll need to get into you will have to free a number of the frames uh, from their prisons that the Vex have constructed for them. Go ahead and open those up. You will also have to fight a couple of Vex and fallen enemies that are guarding the entrance to it. Once you open up the frame location areas, follow the path that you see here on screen to find a very, very well hidden shard. If you look on screen when I use my sniper rifle, when it shows up, you will be able to see it very, very faintly. This one is a very difficult one to see. Make sure to follow the path that you see on screen. Starting again from the Cadmus Ridge location, we're going to make our way over to the Reese Reborn approach. Now, many of you may be looking for me to give you a map location on screen. However, for some reason, the game does not actually show you up in the Reese Reborn approach or anywhere on the north side of the European map. I'm not sure why this is. It's possible that there is some locked content that we're going to get later on. But what you're going to need to do is follow me and follow the path that you see here on screen. What you'll need to do is head up into the upper areas of the Reese Reborn approach, take this lift here, and then make your way up over into some of the areas that you get to in the first part of the campaign. Go to the door to the right, and you'll find yourself in an ice cavern. At this point, you will enter the area of the Reese Reborn approach. Again, because the map does not show your location this far north on Europa, all I can say is follow the path that you see here on screen. What you're going to do is make your way around to the area where there once was a dark barrier in the way. You'll be able to open up that area if you've unlocked stasis, which you should be doing at this point, and you'll be able to go up another elevator. Once you go up that second elevator, there will be a stairway that you will see go around the back side of that stairway and then you will find the shard in the reese reborn approach
we're actually going to use that shard location for the next couple of shards go up the stairway and you'll be presented with a teleporter that will take you to a new location go through the teleporter and make your way forward as you make your way forward you'll find yourself in a large city type area follow the path that you see here on screen here there should be a barrier right there go to the right hand side do not go to the left that is going to take you to the technocrats iron boss fight location that's going to be for a different shard follow the path that you see here for this shard location For the next shard, we're going to head back to the Reese Reborn location where that first shard underneath the stairway was. We're going to again go ahead and make our way over to the teleporter here. And instead of taking that right path when we go around the corner, we're going to go ahead and follow the left path. So again, follow the path that you see here on screen. Do not go through the tunnel straight in front of you. Head instead over to the left. This is going to take you to the Technocrats boss location area. Again, this is a pretty long area, and I do have to commend Bungie for making some pretty long, giant locations. I haven't seen anything like this since Forsaken or maybe even Taken King. Continue to follow the path that you see here on screen until you get to the boss room in the Technocrats Iron location.
the ninth and final shard is actually outside of the current playable area it's located in the creation area of the bray exoscience labs we need to give credit to accomplish task 34 for getting a screenshot here is what it will look like when you will have access to that area you'll have to wait until the creation game space actually opens up and then you can pick up the ninth and final shard all right everybody that is your complete guide to the nine and tropic shards locations you can use that to get your stasis upgraded complete quests and lots of other things like that make sure you claim the triumph once you're able to pick up the ninth and final shard if this guide helped you out i hope that this guide has helped you out a lot and if it did make sure you leave a comment down below and leave a positive rating that lets the youtube algorithm know that this is content that is worthwhile sharing with other people also if you really do like this content and you want to see more stuff for destiny 2 beyond light make sure you hit the subscribe button check out my other content that i've done in the past as well as come on over to twitch.tv slash manodestra 777 we do lots of help over there we have an amazing stream uh where we help out other people through different activities especially in beyond light I've helped lots of people get their exotics in the prior seasons, and I want to help you out as well. So come on over to twitch.tv slash manodestra777, as well as joining our Discord. The link is in the description box below. We have a ton of people in our community. We're nearing 4,000 in our Discord alone, and we have places for you folks to actually work together, communicate, share things inside of the story, share secrets, as well as some other fun community things. And we'd like to invite you to be part of that. Good hunting, Guardians. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time in the universe of Destiny.